Coming in as the second release to Microsoft's Summer of Arcade lineup, Charlie Murder takes the familiar flavor of beat-em-ups and adds a few scoops of punk, ska, and metal influences to its post-apocalyptic world. Zombies, demons, and more otherworldly beings now roam the earth and it's up to you and your head-thrashing bandmates to confront the demon lord behind it all. With a heavy emphasis on loot and stats, Charlie Murder certainly borrows from other games, but it definitely brings many unexpected surprises to make it feel like much more than a genre cover. <laughs> Things start off pretty grim in the demonic depths of the underworld as you and your posse fend off a few ugly baddies before you're shortly defibrillated back to the land of the living. From there, it's a macabre-themed romp of brutality and carnage over a city-spanning world map with the story unfolding through occasional flashbacks that revealed the true culprit and their intentions behind the apocalypse. You might even find some unexpected surprises off the beaten path. Combat is easy enough to pick up with the custom jabs, jump kicks, and grapple attacks to dish out the damage. But Charlie Murder builds on top of this familiar combat scheme as you and up to three other local or online players have four ability slots that can hold special attacks, which you purchase at tattoo parlors. Once you've tatted up to multiple powers, you'll then be able to swap abilities out on the fly to best prepare for any combat situation. Planting decapitated heads as healing totems certainly falls in line with the game's morbid sense of humor. Your abilities won't be the only things you'll be swapping, since enemies will drop loads of items that you'll equip for various effects and stat boosts. Between swapping and selling unwanted gear at shops you'll find along your journey, loot hoarders will have plenty to sink their teeth into as they suit up and tackle the game's many creative enemy types. If you don't like the fashion, you can make your clothes invisible to better show off your ink. Along with its gratifying combat, there are several additional oddities to Charlie Murder that shouldn't be overlooked. An on-screen cell phone tracks your character's stats and level progression, putting a welcome spin on what could have otherwise been an obstructive menu that might bog things down with a group of buddies. You'll get emails, manage inventory, and even use the phone's camera to snap pictures of QR codes to gain hidden loot, which gives you a nice incentive to pay close attention to your surroundings. Other bonus features don't really feel like major parts of the game, but serve as nice breaks to the onslaught of pummeling. They still provide some memorable moments, such as a rhythm-based minigame where you hit face buttons in sync to play your instrument as your band performs, which vary in excitement and challenge depending on which band member you've selected, as well as various shmup segments that put your projectile dodging talents to the test. But there are even a few referential nods to other games and movies that you can't help but appreciate. A dark and humorously grim atmosphere helps make Charlie Murder a unique brawler that knows how to throw a punch and stands out from others in the genre. Adding its own clever twists to combat thanks to RPG-rooted loot and a leveling system that grants a satisfying level of customization, Charlie Murder makes a strong argument to invite a gang of your hardest rocking friends over to unleash havoc on the teeming hordes of a demon lord.